I got my Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Return of the Jedi 40th Anniversary Force Spirits. Let's crack them open. Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, here on the Digitally Rebastard Network, the action figure show about news, reviews, collecting tips, customizations, kit bashing, everything that goes into this fun, nerdy hobby that you and I both love. And in this special episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Return of the Jedi 40th Anniversary Force Spirits with Anakin Skywalker, Yoda, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Just got this in today from Amazon. I had it on pre or not Amazon, Hasbro, because uh, it was an exclusive uh, from Hasbro. Uh, I had it on pre order. And uh, let's take a look. Uh, first off, as you can see here, we've got the Return of the Jedi logo, uh, the Four Spirits there you can see on the side, uh, Anakin Skywalker, Yoda, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Kenner logo, all in the retro style packaging up here on the top. It's a big box. I had to kind of adjust the camera, which, by the way, this is a brand new 4K Sony uh, ZV-1 uh, camera. And then here on the top, you can see the... Uh, wave uh which same um anniversary wave right there they're still adding to it and then they've got the force ghosts here uh on the back we have well on the side there you've got some artwork i'm gonna skip all that uh because it's you know we we know what it is uh there we've got the shot from the um enhanced version of return of the jedi this is one thing I was kind of opposed to. Uh, instead of having Sebastian Shaw standing there, it was uh, Hayden Christensen. But, you know, they did it. So um, Then we've got a little blurb about them there. Uh, down here at the bottom, jibbery jabbery legal jargon, ages 0 to 3. You know what that means. If your child is not born yet, they shouldn't play with these toys. That's right, you're welcome. More jibbery jabbery legal jargon, Disney Hasbro. And we're ready to crack this open. Let's get trusty. Pew! And get into the side here. All right, there we go. Um, I'm anxious to see. They, they're pictured with like a little, the little fence, and I don't know if that's in there or not. I doubt it. Um, oh, there went the stupid piece of paper. Boy, you can't have Hasbro without the stupid piece of paper, can you? Uh, let's get these now. There's no fence. Okay. Well, you know, I didn't expect there to be, so I'm not disappointed. Let's get the box and put it down here. And then, uh, we'll line these guys up and have a look. All right. Here we've got them lined up. I've, I've got these, uh, got the camera about as adjusted. I'm still having a little teething issues with this camera, but, uh, it does look good. Um, and I think it will look good in the final output. So this is my first attempt using this camera. So here we've got uh, Anakin Skywalker, um, Yoda, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obviously, this is a smaller Yoda. I hope that this is a hint of things to come. Uh, because the Yoda tend to be a little bit big, the original Yoda. And then they came out with the Dagobah luke and they had the smaller yoda which this seems to be i don't know if this means that we're going to get a new yoda or not but i hope so so uh let's uh we'll do order of death <laughs> so we'll move these out of the way and uh i'll just sit them over here on the side and let's get uh obi-wan kenobi out um pop this open if i can get my fingernail under... Ooh, this one's got a lot of glue. Okay, there we go. I am in. Let's get that. And we'll pull the tray out. And it is just him. So I will uh, put this back in. And drop that down there. And here we go. We've got Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, looking very good. Uh, I don't know if that is a new head sculpt or not. I'm looking up on my shelf at my Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I don't... I think this is just the same. Um, well, here's something we can do. Let me sit him right there. Thank you. 
Okay, so here is the original Force Ghost Obi-Wan, and then here is the new one. Um, yeah, that is a different head. That's a different, that's a new, that's a face print sculpt on that. Um, yeah, that's very obvious. That is a new head, so that's interesting. Um, I wonder if that means maybe we're going to get a new Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, same type of robe. You've got the transparent robe. Uh, let's open that robe up and have a look at his robe underneath. Um, that is a little different. Uh, we've got uh, more of a metallic looking belt on there instead of the brown belt. Um, other than that, it's pretty much the same a little bit more transparency on the new one than the old one, but uh, yeah, and then we've got a little bit of shiny shininess to the um, undershirt going on there. Um, looks pretty good. Um, looking at everything that he's got here i i think it's i think it's pretty i think it's pretty good looking um going over articulation uh we've got okay it is it is the static neck with the ball hinge at the top uh so you know you can get the head all the way around uh pretty decent down pretty decent up uh same with uh the joints are smooth i will give them that same with the other uh, the old one uh we've got the shoulder hinge going down to an elbow hinge you can get this all the way around i'm not going to do it because he's got the robe on i don't want to take the robe off uh but uh you've got the elbow hinge with a swivel and the wrist swivel with an in and out actually really good in and out considering those big sleeves uh, you'd, you've got a no ab crunch, but there is a waist swivel ball joint right there, uh, mid torso or uh, at the waist. I mean, um, the legs, um, the the bottom of the robe is split. The legs are all translucent, um, so those will go all the way out. You do have, well, not all the way, but about to there. You do have a thigh swivel on that and a double knee i don't know if the old one had did the old one have a double knee oh yeah i guess it did i didn't think that it did so we got a double knee uh going right not all the way back because it's catching there on the leg but uh we've got uh that and is there a boot swivel i don't think there is no but we do have detents on the feet and a forward rocker uh on the feet so pretty good. Looks pretty good. Uh, he's going to look good on the Return of the Jedi uh, section of my shelf uh, right up there. Uh, we'll sit him over here, and then we'll get... Uh, this is the one I'm most interested in, is Yoda. Let's pop Yoda open and get him out. All right. Now, Yoda actually is the only one with an accessory. He has his cane. And then we'll pop him out. There we go. And we'll put that tray back in. And down we go. Uh, Yoda. I don't have anything to compare to. So I do have the other Yoda ghost, Force Ghost. But uh, it is the original size. This is completely new. Um, you've got his little necklace there. Uh, you do have the uh well, it's out of focus let's bring him in here uh we do have the little necklace and then we've got the um very rubbery on the ears this head seems to be a little bit more rubbery than the uh or, the other original little yoda um looks pretty good he's got the real shimmery shiny looking under robe there and then you know his legs halfway down become translucent uh, I've got the little belt there, which uh, is strange because that originally was on 
the outside of the robe on, uh, but I, I don't know, I guess maybe when he died in Return of the Jedi that it was like that, I'm not sure. But uh, I have to go back and rewatch that. I didn't really pay that much attention to where his belt was. or if, I think he was covered up, so you really didn't see it. And that brief scene where Luke goes back to Dagobah. Um, it's got that, uh, got his robe different than the Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, because it's uh, his is like purplish, and Yoda's is more of like a, a tan, but it's still um, transparent. Looking at articulation on this guy, this is what I'm most interested in. Uh, head all the way around, and uh, no, well, there's a little bit of back, not a whole lot of forward. I'm assuming that is just, I don't know if we can pop that off. Okay, that's interesting. It's a little peg on the head. Yeah, I think that's a new design. Because the old one, yeah, he has a very small peg hole in his head. Um, the original has the large ball joint. So that's interesting. I bet this is a new... This is definitely a new Yoda sculpt. And I bet this is a taste of things to come. I bet we're going to get a Yoda uh, like this. He has his cane, which has that shimmery, shiny look to it. Um, he does have an elbow hinge. He has a shoulder hinge uh, going up there. Um, the elbow hinge does have a swivel on it. And then we've got a wrist, uh, wrist swivel. And, and, I don't know, I don't think, oh no, I think he's got an up and down on his wrist. It's hard to tell. The joints are very, very smooth. Um, I don't think, I don't think he has a hinge on his, on his wrist at all. Uh, going down to the torso, we've got a, another, I don't know, it's just a waist swivel. It's not a ball joint. Um, and then the legs, uh, do we do have uh, legs all the way out to there, and we do have a single knee with a swivel. Hmm, that's really interesting, and it's very, very, they're very, very smooth. And then the feet, uh, we do have a little bit of a uh, rocker on the feet. I don't think there's no detent or hinge on there. Well, it looks like there might be a little bit, but there is a rocker on the feet. That's very interesting. This is very, very interesting. Um, I'm going to guess before all is said and done, before the end of the year, I think we're going to see a 40th anniversary Yoda uh, like this. Um, you can get his cane in his hand uh, and bend it down. This is really, really interesting. Um, trying to get his, there we go. So yeah, you can actually get his cane uh, affixed into that hand. Let me get that in there again. That is really wild. You really couldn't do this very well with the old, older Yoda. I'm really hoping that we do see a prequel Yoda as well. Um, but there you go. That's really wild. Okay, so... We're on to Anakin now. Um, let's pop him out and... Get him out here. And he does not have any accessories. Okay. Pop this down. I have nothing to compare this to other than maybe... The uh, episode three Anakin, but um, that's a completely different outfit. This is one of the reasons I was kind of opposed to this. I mean, it was cool that they did this, but this really should have been, they should have left this the way that it was. And I'm hoping that maybe we'll see a forced ghost of the uh, Sebastian Shaw actor uh, in this, because this, it was just weird that even, even in the original Return of the Jedi, that they made him look like this. Because um, you never... He never... I don't know. I, I, don't, we, I don't really understand how Force Ghosts work. So, um, But uh, on this one, much like Obi-Wan Kenobi, 
Uh, the only difference is, well, it's the same type of robe. It's the same purple transparent robe. A uh, little bit different belt. Uh, we've got the same type of robe with the um, undershirt uh, and the l sort of white tan beige uh, robe going down to translucence. Um, so, yeah. Basically, a lot like the Obi-Wan. Uh, the Anakin face. Um, he's even got the scar. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, lots of sheen and shine on the hair. Um, this one, however... Yeah, that's got a that's got a different neck on it. I hope this means that we're gonna get a new episode three Anakin. Um, I hate the fact that if we did, because uh, I dropped quite a big chunk of change on mine and then customized it. But uh, yeah, it looks good. It looked, actually, I think this is my favorite out of the three thus far. Uh, he looks pretty good. Well, I don't know. I like that Yoda though. But, um, so yeah, let's look at articulation on him. Obviously, we've got the ball neck, ball joint neck going into the upper torso with a dumbbell going into the head on this. Um, head all the way around, uh, really good down. Not a lot of back with that, uh, Anakin mullet going on. Um, Going down to the arms, again, really smooth joints, Hasbro. You're doing a good job with the smooth joints. Uh, got the shoulder uh, shoulder hinge, with uh, which will go all the way around. You got the elbow hinge with a swivel on there. Uh, the hands, you've got a swivel and an in and out on that one. I don't know if the other one... Uh, I'm probably going to have to get an Anakin lightsaber and a new another Obi-Wan lightsaber. Um, for them. This one is... Now, this is also in and out. I guess they're really not supposed to have weapons. It's their Force Ghosts. But then we have uh, the ball joint waist swivel, which uh, is good. I like that. Uh, legs... His legs all the way out considerably more than Obi-Wan's. And um, we have the thigh swivel and the double knee. His goes back quite farther than Obi-Wan's does. And then we have the detents on the feet and a forward rocker on the feet as well. The bottom of these robes are very soft rubbery, uh, so you can get them out of the way uh, pretty easily. And I like the fact that they've got the hoods bent back. Um, that's kind of nice, because some, a lot of times they're, they're hard to... Um, they are hard to get... Uh, they are hard to get bent back like that um and him up a little bit better so yeah uh looking pretty good looking pretty good i'm 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 pretty happy with them um this pack was a little pricey uh but it wasn't exclusive but uh and they're they're gonna look good up on my up with my return of the jedi character so uh let's get these guys lined up with some other characters and we'll see how they scale up all right, here we've got them with the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Retro Doctor Strange, the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified series Retro Carded Storm Shadow, the Hasbro Ghostbusters Plasma series Egon Spangler, and the Mattel DC Universe Classics Gentleman Ghost. Um, I, thought th I thought these two were... I've Actually, I thought they were all very appropriate. But... Um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with them. I'll give them a, a cumulative. I'll give them a, I'll give them a seven out of ten. Um, I wish they were a little bit more articulated. Uh, the Yoda definitely. I know I said the Anakin is probably my favorite. I think the Yoda is actually my favorite out of the group because we, it's the smaller Yoda. It's more to scale, and like I said, I think that's a taste of things to come. I think we're going to see. Uh, I think we're going to see that Yoda uh, in. A new version. Uh, I think we're actually going to get a new Yoda. And, um, I mean, this is obviously a new Yoda. But I think we're actually going to see a new Yoda uh, sculpt. Uh, live Yoda, uh, if you will. 
Um, other than that, that'll do it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digitally Rebastard Network. You all have a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care. 